Well, welcome back. 05 Chevy Suburban. Um, needs a front, driver's side, uh, ABS wheel speed sensor. Uh, I broke it. Uh, I was doing uh, brake lines on this. I had a brake line blowout on it. Really common on these trucks, they rust out. And uh, I must have hit it. And I could see uh, when I finished the brake lines, I'm looking at it going, man, I think I, I think I messed that wire up. And as soon as I started the truck up through a code, I forget the code, but I'll, I'll put it in the description. And it was, uh, you know, front left wheel speed sensor. So we're going to replace the wheel speed sensor in this, get it straightened out so I can get my ABS light off and get my ABS working again. So I'm outside today because we've got other things in the garage camping in there. So we got to remove caliper, rotor. Just gotta reach in here and see if we can tweak this a little bit to get it to loosen up a little bit on the get to push the pistons back in a little bit. I think that'll probably be enough. Uh, T55 for this. At least on this one. Some of these are hex, some sometimes, and some of them are torx heads. So this is torx. Trying to get my light in a good position, at least give you some light. Not much, but some. Knock it right in there. Great. Oh, well, these are tight too. These are really tight. Oh, that's a little, little tight on the tight side there. It did come loose though. There we go. Yep. Just set this right on top here for the moment. Uh, 18 millimeter for the mounting bracket. To it and not do that. Yeah, I should be able to pull this rotor. Uh, let me turn the wheel so you can see what I'm doing and move the camera. I'm guessing five because the four was too small. Okay, five millimeter. Hex. Get this undone. Ah, nice and loose. That, that came right out. That was nice. Pick up the bike. I haven't gotten it out of the hub yet, but that's going to be another. It can be a bear sometimes, but as I get it out, I'll show you what's wrong with it. It's pretty easy for me to see what was wrong with it when I broke it. Uh, let me see here. Let me get something to clean that off. And uh, well, I do have a screwdriver here. Clean off around it. Kind of wiggle it. You, want to, you don't want to just crank on it because you'll break it off. It's a tight fit. A lot of times he's just kind of kind of wiggle them around. Get them moving. Kind of twist them if you can a little bit. Yeah, this one's twisting back and forth. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to get it where you can see it and just kind of work at it. And work it out. Back and forth here. Try to loosen it up. Fortunately, this one's moving. Sometimes these really don't like to come off. Oh, I heard a crack there. Not what I want to hear. Although I'm not putting it back in, so I just need it to come out. There it goes. Pop loose. You know, undo the bracket from the bracket up here. I gotta come up here. I've undone this one. I'm gonna come over here, which is uh, cable tie, wire tie here. Undo that, undo that. Give me a little more room in here so I can kind of wiggle this out. Let me go get a pair of side cutters. Uh, get this out of here. Get that loose. Goes up, up into here. Oh, actually it actually goes right here. Right above the shock tower is where it plugs in. Let me unplug it. It's right there. 
this goes right there. Well, there's the problem right there. So when I was doing these brake lines, all up in here, these are all new. I hit that. And you can see I just tore it up. Fortunately, it's pretty inexpensive. Hopefully that's in the picture. You can see what I'm looking at. But just tore this wire all up. And I kind of figured as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to end up putting the ABS sensor in there. But no big deal. Now, got my light. Try to give it decent light. Probably won't work. But now I can hopefully push this through here. I don't really want to have to take this shield off of here. No, that would be ridiculous because it's... You have to pull the hub to do that. I don't not want to do that. That's insane. Figure out how to this. Yeah, there's just enough room to kind of pry that through like that. And there it is. So for stuff like this, sensors, OEM only. Uh, even though made in China. But this is an AC Delco 8435-6645. Um, I broke my own rule. Um, couple months ago I had to do a fuel pump on this and um, you just ride it out top of it ride it out like they all do uh, and I, um, I did that and then about a week ago I got an evap code and look at the fuel tank pressure sensor readings and they're totally screwed up and it's not I'm almost positive it's not uh, it's not the wiring it's fine it's it's the fuel tank pressure sensor because it's o, it's aftermarket. It's not OEM, and I was thinking about it when I did that because you have to drop the tank to do the pump. That I should have switched over the um, original fuel tank pressure sensor to the new pump. But I had 190 you know 190,000 miles on it. I didn't really want to do that. I broke my own rule about OEM only for that kind of stuff, and now I get to uh, put an OEM sensor and drop the tank again, and put an OEM fuel tank pressure sensor in it because I'm sure it's bad that'll be another video but regardless the piece of the other one is in there so when it broke it did break so the casing is still in there so let me go get a pick I'm gonna have to get that out of there all right let's see Probably not. Now it's moving. At least it's moving. I know it's moving. If it's moving, it'll come out of there. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's, it's moving. Up and down. It's, just, it's hanging up, coming out. It's like it's wiggling. Just gotta get a hold of it somehow. I'm trying to dig the point of the pick into it to get a hold of the side of it. You see it's spinning, so. It's spinning, it's moving, I'll get it out of there. It just might take a little bit. There it goes. So there it is. There's the outside of it. Beautiful. Done now. Came out. I had to switch memory cards. Hopefully you saw all that. I think you did, but reach in there. If I didn't, I had to reach in there with a pick. This cracked when I was pulling it out. I had to get that out. Get that piece out. It goes around the around the sensor like that I got it out not big deal put the new one in now make sure it's clean they make it they make it a little difficult I wonder if if I can feed this the rest of this can I feed this through this hole if I can feed it through the hole I'll put the sensor in first maybe yeah there we go it's tight but it's doable it's definitely doable Oh. There we go. Sort it by hand. You don't want to cross thread it. There it goes. Don't crush it. All right. You just need to snug it up. Snugged up. Let's put our clips back in here. 
the caliper out of my way. Let me back you up a little bit. Thank you. On top of me. There we go. Light doesn't do any good if I don't turn it on, does it? Just plugging everything back in. Got push pin up here on top of the shock tower. Push pin here. Just getting it back in place. That's it for that. We should be able to put everything back together now. Pass back in. Don't twist your uh, flexible line all up. Put them back together. Uh, I was not going to put the wheel back on, but we'll get the scanner out. We'll take a look at the codes and take a look at this ABS wheel speed sensor and what it's reading. Maybe we'll take it for a test drive and uh, make sure it's behaving. Well, that's pretty much it for changing the uh, wheel speed sensor. So, my own fault. I'm sure I hit it when I was doing the brake lines because their brake lines are a pain in this. I blew a brake line in this. I think I said that, but it was fun getting three or four miles. Fortunately, I was close to home and headed home, and where I live is pretty rural, so I didn't have any problem, but I, I had no brakes. I basically, by the time I got home, the system was completely empty, and I was creeping, and I did make it home, though. Didn't hit anybody, didn't hit anything, and then spent about 15 hours doing the brake lines on this because they're a pain. They're just hard to do. Uh, but it's good now. Oh, there you go. They're both history already. So, should be okay. We're going to take it out. I'm just going to clear these codes. And I'm going to take it out. We'll look at some live data. And uh, make sure that... Uh, we're okay. A lot of data. Let's go. Let's go take it for a ride. Just kind of watch them both. Look pretty good. Kind of expected them to. I don't know how shaky that is for you, but it's obviously working. My ABS light's gone, so that's a good thing. So it fixed it, so I kind of figured it would. Well, that's it. it. It definitely fixed the issue, which I figured it would. It was my own, my own doing. Like I said, when I was doing brake lines in this, I hit that wire and figured it was going to be a problem, and it was, but not, not a bad job at all. Pretty easy to do. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, you know, click like below. If you don't like them, click the dislike. Tell me why you like them or don't like them. I'll try to keep fixing what I can fix uh, to make these videos helpful. Um, if you like them, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.